This is the sound of the sea. And this is the sea, an infinite spread of water covering about 70% of our planet's surface. These are the inhabitants of the sea, a submerged universe full of countless shapes and colours, which we plunder, destroy and pollute with impunity. This is the sound from the engines of the fishing boats, of the gears lifting nets dragged for kilometres along the seabed, of hooks skewered on the pallets of the victims. This is the sound of a fish market where lifeless bodies are sold by weight every day between the shouts of the sellers and the buyers commenting on this atrocity by discussing the best recipes with which they will cook them. In the noise of these artificial environments, humans reduce to silence and oblivion the suffering of billions of marine individuals that are harpooned, fished, taken from the sea and disemboweled while they are still conscious. It's estimated that up to three trillion fish are killed for food by humans every year. Plucked from their habitat, they're caught in the open sea or born to grow, fatten and die in fish farms or underwater basins, cisterns and aquaculture facilities. These numbers represent rough estimates since the catch is conventionally measured in tonnes. It's a sterile number on the weighing scale without taking into any consideration the lives stolen and without any respect for the individuals involved in this massacre. A massacre that is anything but silent. Concrete evidence of the size of this phenomenon is the depopulation of the seas that proceeds at increasing speed. The fishing industry is also responsible for an estimated 640,000 tonnes of plastic in our oceans, which threatens the survival not only of fish, but also of all the other animals and marine ecosystems. Human beings systematically condemn to silence any form of language different from their own, the language of all the animals that are victims of a food production system. Humans have exploited non-humans without thought if their actions are moral. Of all the beings who are victims of human cruelty, fish are certainly the most forgotten. Their expressions of pain fall unheeded as they're pressed against one another. Once the nets are hoisted, due to the pressure change, their swimming bladders burst. Their eyes pop out of their sockets, while their esophagus and the stomach are pushed out of their mouths. They die of asphyxiation, an agony that can last several hours. In farms all around the world, fish are trapped in overcrowded floating cages and are victims of stress, disease and parasites. In factories, systems are in place to kill them in cruel and painful ways, such as the immersion in a mixture of water and ice. The frozen liquid slows down their metabolism, but they remain conscious and suffer for a long time. Females are squeezed to extract their eggs. Their bodies suffer heavy injuries and manipulations. In all of these cases, fish don't want to die. They resist from capture to transport. They squirm in nets on fishing boats and in farms. They still gasp when their tired bodies are covered by a layer of ice to preserve the freshness of their death. They are then sold in markets all over the world. If we are unable to understand, interpret and recognise their language because it seems so different from ours, we should at least be able to respect a universal language written on the faces of these victims, the language of suffering. Fish communicate with sounds that the human ear cannot detect. Fish are smart, social animals with their own personalities, just like dogs and cats. 
they live in complex social groups and are able to learn and remember new information. A mountain of studies and scientific evidence shows that fish are sentient and complex living beings capable of experiencing pain and suffering, positive feelings and fears. Their rich inner lives and social relationships are erased forever by human greed, which methodically and mechanically transforms their life into death and their death into food. This is the sound of the sea. Listening or condemning it to silence depends also on you. Get started today. Join an animal save movement group near you or create one in your own city. Bear witness to the suffering of fish all around the globe. Document their suffering and show it to everyone that you can. Every fish has a story that needs to be told.